Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video and welcome to another anniversary video. I just talked on May the 4th about some of my Star Wars stuff and it turns out today, May the 9th, is another anniversary. And it has to do with this computer space. Now for those who don't know, this is the 1972 arcade machine made by Nolan Bushnell and his buddy Ted Dabney. Uh, they made this as one of the very first arcade video games. Technically the first coin-operated arcade machine. You could, um, there's, there's a variety of uh, qualifiers to that, but we'll just say this is the first arcade video game machine and go from there. 1972, I already did a video sort of celebrating its 50th anniversary. There we go, there's some details here. I'm going to turn it on in a sec, but it's a bit loud, so I thought I would do it without the uh, sound on. Um, yeah, it's it's a groovy, groovy 70s machine. You gotta love the shape of it here. Love all the little uh, speckles of that kind of, um, what would you call that? Uh, I'm sure there's a name for it. That material that swimming pools are made out of, that speckly, metallic, plasticky stuff. Um, ironically, it's the first space game kind of based on space war. And I keep it right beside my copy of No Man's Sky, which is probably, because I play it in VR, No Man's Sky in VR and computer space are probably diametrically opposite from each other. So there we go. There it is. I'm going to fire it up in a sec, but why am I talking about it? Oh yeah, I've got a little Space Invaders controller there for the Atari 2600 too, if you're wondering what that's all about. And then Vol, my arcade machine beside that. However, we're talking about computer space. And why? Because uh, in on this day in 1971-ish, I think it was, uh, Soylent Green came out. Now, that movie is not celebrating any kind of 50th anniversary or anything like that. But the posters for Soylent Green actually mentioned that it, ha it, it is the year 2022 which we're in now. And I just thought, hey, I might as well do a little tip of the hat to Soylent Green and its connection to computer space for the fact that it is now the year 2022. And this was the release date, May the 9th. So I figured that's about the closest I can get to uh, making a connection between a specific day on the calendar and computer space and Soylent Green. Somebody had mentioned, oh my God, it's the year 2022 and we're in the year of Silent Green now. So I thought, all right, I'm going to play computer space. Why? Well, for those of you who haven't seen the film, there's actually a white computer space that is played in that movie. Uh, I think the makers were thinking we need to make something look kind of space age and futuristic here. This is a, a living room of the future. Obviously, people will have their own arcade machines or <laughs> they didn't know what those were back then, but... We want to get something groovy, something that'll stand out in the room on the set. And they had a girl playing the computer space there. It was white in color. Now that makes it really, really rare. Somebody actually had a white one up for sale on eBay many years ago, claiming it was the one from the movie. Uh, the, the guy who runs the uh, killer list of video games arcade forum he either, I can't remember now, I should have looked this up, but he either bought it or he knew the person buying it. Um, it's not the one from the movie. Long story short, there's a lot of details in there, but the white one that was floating around eBay back then is not the one from the movie. However, it's a white one, which is pretty rare. I don't have a white one, I just got a red one. And uh, we're just going to fire it up here, play it a bit. I've played it before for its 50th anniversary, and uh, as I say, it's a bit loud, a bit uh, crunchy and chunky for the whirring of the fans and all that kind of good stuff, but you know what? Let's just fire up computer space because it is now the year of Soylent Green. It is now 2022, so let's play some computer space. Okay, that's the game fired up. I told you it was pretty noisy, so I'm gonna just go down here pop in a quarter and have a go. I don't know if you can make me out there, but I'm on the left hand side. I'm the rocket and I want to get those two UFOs if I can. Oh, they got me. Okay. Um, those of you who are observing are probably thinking this is a lot like 
asteroids, and it is, except for <laughs> a lot harder. Because <laughs> first of all, the controls are backwards. With asteroids, you move the ship left and right on the left hand side, like with your left hand. With this one, there we go, got him. And they crashed into me. And it looks like we're stuck in a loop. Nope, okay, gotcha. Let's get out of the way. Yeah, so rotation is actually done with your right hand, and thrust and fire are with your left hand. So if you're an Asteroids player, this one is not that easy to master as well. Now they're kind of stuck on the edges. Okay, here we go. Gotcha. Ooh, nicely done. Okay, we've tied it up. I've got about 18, 17 seconds left. See the timer at the bottom there? It's going to go to 99. And whoever wins, wins fire! Quick! Ooh, that was close! Six to five! <laughs> Very close. Uh, okay, let me have one more game because that was um, not, that was kind of the warm up round. Okay, now that I've got my my computer space sea legs back, let's hope. There we go. Let's see if we can get some fine form here. In the movie, I believe it is the genuine sound effects. I think you can hear. Is it? What's her name? Jacqueline Lee? Somebody? No, Lee. It's Lee. Somebody. I'll put I'll put her picture here. Uh, but you can hear her playing, and it is this high-pitched, whistling, creaking kind of a sound effect to the game. So hats off to the uh, filmmakers for at least being genuine with their sound effects. Oh, dang it. Seven to four is not a good thing. You know, for the first, or one of the first, uh, gaming AI sets, these guys are notoriously tough. I mean, if you're lucky enough to get them kind of just sitting there doing nothing, you might, you might manage. But they are pretty tough. Now, you're probably noticing my score just went weird. It's a letter C now. That's because the, um, whoa! Uh, that's because the machine does not, um, it doesn't accept or doesn't understand double digits, and it's some kind of a hexadecimal value there. So that's why we've got a letter C showing up. Anyway, uh, I've done a lot of videos before about computer space, and in fact, I even have a website devoted to computer space. It's history, some pictures. You can see other people's units all running. Uh, it's computerspacefan.com. I've talked about it before. So I'll put a link to that below if you want to check that out. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, there we go. For uh, as per they say in Soylent Green, it is the year 2022. And since it's May the 9th, when that film originally came out in the early 70s, I just thought, yeah, let's do some computer space gameplay, just like the lady did at the beginning of the film. And there's another gaming anniversary gone. So, all right, well, until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.